countries, 3 billion homes across the world. And this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I shall rejoice. I have a need to rejoice. Rejoicing is so important that the Bible says I rejoice. And again, I say rejoice. I said it twice. The word rejoice means to leap up and down. Yeah. Yet will I praise him and I will rejoice in the God of my salvation. For he gives me hinds feet is like a deer that jumps on the back of his feet. And so today you're going to leap above your circumstances. You're going to get up from wherever you are and you're going to head in the right direction. It's a great day to be alive. It is the day the Lord has made. And I'm praying that God send now prosperity in your life. You know what I want to decree and declare to you? And I got help here. I got help. One can chase a thousand, but two can chase ten thousand. What kind of help you got here, Bishop? I got a prophet here. But you know what we want to declare to you today? Today is your day for a miracle. Miracles are happening in your life. Today is your day for a miracle. Say it with me out of your mouth. Let it come out of your belly and let it flow. Today is my day for a miracle. You don't believe in miracles? Well, you must don't believe in the word of God. Because I remember there was a man that had laid for some years uh, in, by the pool. And Jesus, Jesus uh, came by and he said, I have no man to put me in. That's because you don't need a man to put you in. You need God to activate your faith. You know the story, how he, he, he got up and began to move and flow in what God told him to do. Oh, you don't believe in miracles? There was another man that was blind and Jesus took a little spit and put on some clay and put it on his eyes and he received his sight. Miracles are throughout the entire Bible. Oh, throughout the whole Bible. You don't believe in miracles? You remember, you remember when uh, Jairus was passing by Jesus and he told him, he said, hey, Jesus, you ain't even got to come to my house. All you got to do is speak the word. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to speak the word over your life. Miracles are happening today the end of the week. They're happening in your life. Only about 84 days left in this year. God is about to show you something you've never seen in your life. He's about to work a miracle in your life. I look at miracles like this. God is going to put his super on your natural. Now, I'm, I'm going to give Creflo Dollar this credit. I, I heard him say it. He's going to put his super on your natural, giving you supernatural ability to do what you couldn't do until he put his super on your natural. You're about to have supernatural power. He's going to work through you. Maybe you don't need a miracle. Maybe there's somebody else in, in your life. You're praying God to, to heal them. And he, they, the doctor, here's a miracle. When the doctor says, you know what, there's no hope for you, go on home, prepare yourself, get ready to die. That happened in the Bible too. You, you don't remember when the prophet was sent, I'm bringing your prophet, but I feel like preaching a little bit. Uh, uh, you don't remember when, when the prophet went to the man of God and said, you know what, get your house in order, get your business together because you're about to die. And the man of God put his face against the wall and, and began to tell God his resume and all that uh, he had done for God and all that God had done for him. And then the prophet was stopped in the courtyard and said, go back and tell him that in three days I'm going to heal him. I'm going to extend his life. God is about to give you an extension Welcome, Prophet Luther McKinstry. Thank you, Bishop. Well, I'm glad to be here. I'm fired up, huh? Yes, indeed. Some of that red light, when that red light come on. You want to talk about miracles today? Yes, sir. When we come back from this commercial, I'm going to let you go because you're ready to go, I can tell. Yes, sir. You're like a bull yes. coming out. Of <laughs> we'll be right back after this commercial right here on Greg Davis Live. Miracles are happening right now. 
Hi, I'm Mr. Greg Davis, and I want to introduce to you the very special Healing Bible. That's right. I have designed a Bible along with the Word Network that is called the Healing Bible. Inside this Bible are scriptures that I have specially picked out of the Word of God to speak into your life for your healing. Spiritually, financial healing, mental healing, whatever it is, you need to get this Bible in your hand. Let me tell you something. It's a topical reference Bible that you can study the Word of God, but then there are 27 other books inside the Bible. Right now, I want to send it to you, the Healing Bible, along with the prayer cloth, along with Let the Healing Begin CD Part 2. All these three for $109. So a seat of $109. Chose nine because nine represents healing. And he healed them all. 39 stripes. He was healed with 39 stripes. $109. Order now the Healing Bible Package. Do it right now. $109. Welcome back to Greg Davis Live. And he healed them all. Not some of them, but all of them. It is God's will to heal you. All God needs is some faith. Miracles take a little faith on your behalf. I want those. I, I need 10 of you today. I need 10 of you today of those 390 that I'm looking for. I'm looking for 390 to raise up and take this healing ministry all over the country, all over the world. We're praying for healing in the midst of the hurricane, Matthew. We're praying for healing. We're praying for healing of the land. We're praying for healing of bodies. I have this healing Bible. It says, and he healed them all, Matthew 12 and 15. In the beginning of the Bible, there are four pages that uh, the Word Network let me design and pull the scriptures out on healing. You go into the hospital and pray for the sick. You don't have to go to the Bible. Now, let me see where this is at. No, it's right here in the beginning of the Bible. I pulled out healing script. God has called you to lay hands on the sick. I want to help impart into you. I've been on this journey 30 years now, preaching the gospel. 30 years, God told me as soon as he called me that you're going to lay hands on the sick. I knew there was something different about me. You've been called to do that too. I want to get this healing Bible package in your hand. The CD that will charge you up every day. I'm decreeing and declaring healing. You're going to make your own CD one day. You're going to do it. And then the healing cloth. You can take this with you everywhere you go. Lay hands on the sick. And then, of course, the Bible. 27 other books in here other than the 66 books. You want to know about miracles? There's a whole chapter in here about miracles. You want to know about the name of Jesus? There's a whole chapter about the name of Jesus. You want to know about God? There's a whole chapter in here for a seed gift. You can't buy it. You can't buy it for a seed gift of $109. I want to get there. Are 10 of you. I need you to stand with me. I need you to stand with me to help Preach the gospel of Jesus Christ across this globe as we're doing now. You know what? Salvation is free. Uh, Prophet McKinstry, I'm prophesying today. Pastor Prophet McKinstry. Uh, salvation is free. The cameras are not free. The staff is not free. The, the lights in the studio is not free. The big satellites in the back is not free. Those things are not free. The bill comes. Mr. Dell and those that are in charge of the bills, they have to, they have to pay the bills. So, you know, I'm asking you to stand with me. We're going to send the healing Bible package. Maybe you can't do that. Sow a seed. Let me say this to you today. If you like what you see every day at 1 o'clock, I need some partners to stand with me. Any donation you can do today, but especially those 10 of you that will stand with me. Today is your day for a miracle, an occurrence that nobody but God can do. When God... When man steps out, then God steps in. Yes. A miracle. A miracle. A miracle. Today when I was getting ready, I said, Lord, what do you want me to tell you people? The Lord said to me, he said, son, a lot of folks are looking for a miracle and expecting the impossible. There was something very interesting that happened uh, in, in the Bible. The Bible says that when the Lord went to Abram, he says, uh, give me your son, your only seed that you love, mm -hmm. the only seed that you love, and sacrifice him unto me. And him being the man of faith, he stepped out by faith, and the Bible said that he took a lad, two lads, two, two young men, and he saddled up the ass and took everything with him, and he went to the place where God told him to go. Now, first of all, Bishop, 
the Lord gave him a word a long time ago and shared with him that he was going to give him a, he was going to give him a seed, a yeah. son. He had a promise. And he had a promise. Yeah. He heard the word of God, but he couldn't see it. Yeah. A lot of us hear the word of His God. Wife start laughing. We hear the word of God, yeah. but we can't see it. Yeah. This is like Zacharias. The Lord told him he was going to have a child. He he heard the word, but he couldn't see it. Like he told Mary, you're going to have a child. She heard the word, but she couldn't see it. There's so many people who hear God's word, but they couldn't see it. But today I'm stopped by to let you know that birth is getting ready to take place. You're getting ready to see your miracle. You're getting ready to see your situation come to pass. And so what happened was, and, and so what happened was when he came about, he decided to put his own hand in it. He, he felt like he needed to help God a little bit. Uh, and, and so he went and you know the story. He went with the handmaiden and, 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 and he ended up having uh, the child that was not the promise. Uh, he had the child, he had a seed that was not the promise. And when he finally had the promised seed, uh, the very thing that he decided he wanted to help God with was the very thing that was sitting up there trying to mess with his promise. Mm. And so what happened was uh, the wife said, you know what, send that situation you decide to mess up in, send it away. And, and, and the Lord says, now listen to her, but when you send that situation away, I don't want you to look back and I don't want you to cry. There are some things that some of you that have tried to put your hand in it and some things you need to send away. But I stopped by to let you know this sending away because I don't want that to end up interfering with some your promise. stuff that you've done of your own making. Yes. It, it, it was not God's perfect will. Yes. But it was his permissive will. Yes. He allowed it to happen. Yes. He allowed some things that on the way you knew it wasn't exactly what God said, but he allowed you to do it because you just wanted to put your hand in it. Yes. And he sent it away. Yes. God is about to send some things away that were of your own making. And he's about to send that. I hear there's a woman watching right now, prophet. There's a, there's a woman, you, the relationship that you're in, and I want you to call us when we go off the air. There's a woman, you made this, your, your, this, this relationship was never of God. It was never of God. It was your own making because you wanted to, you wanted to have somebody. Wanted a man, need a man, just got to have a man. You raffled off a man. You wanted a man in your life. And you made this of your own. And God is saying, you know, this is not a godly relationship. Do what? Send, Send it, it away. away. Send it away. And so when he got to the place where God had told him to be, and, and he told the lads, he says, I want y'all to wait right here because you ain't gonna be able to go where God is getting ready to take me. Mm -hmm. Y'all wet behind the ear. I don't want you to interfere. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to interfere because the only thing you're gonna do is talk me into my ear to try to talk me out of it. And there's some people that you're gonna have to leave behind because there's some people that's gonna interfere on really what you got, you're trying to do. Everybody can't be able to go where God is getting ready to take you. Yeah. And so as he was, he said something very interesting, but this is the key thing. He said, but I'm telling you what, the lad and I are on our way to worship, but we'll be back. So now God gives him the promise. Yes. He gives him Isaac. Yes. And then God says to him, I want you to go sacrifice. Give him back to me, sacrifice. Your only thing that I promised you. And he said, the key thing, he said, the very thing that you love. The very thing you love. The very thing you love. But, but the thing I want to get over to is the thing that was promised. Promise. So now you want me to sacrifice what you promised me. And I know he had to go in Shout here. I know, I know he had to sit up here in his head, says, you know, I, I can't go home without this boy because I don't want to yeah. hear this woman's mouth, you yeah. know. And, and, so, and, so, and so, but the thing is, the confession that he came out of his mouth, he, he says that the lad and I are on our way to worship. The Lord said to sacrifice but he said, I'm on my way to worship. The Lord says sacrifice, but, but Abraham says worship. Worship. Yeah. He had to position himself to change his circumstances on what he had to do. Yeah. While he climbing up the rough side of the mountain, Bishop. Yeah. Now I know some of us say, well, we could tell the mountain to be removed, yeah. but there's some rough mountains we're going to have to climb. Yeah. But he don't realize the very confession that came out of his mouth. What he didn't realize is that his miracle was coming on the other side of the mountain because he did not see it until there was time when the angel stopped him. I stopped by to let you know your confession out of your mouth, 
You position yourself in the situation that you're in right now in the position of worship. You don't understand that your miracle is on its way on the other side. Yeah. And so, so when on the other side of whatever you're going through, there is a miracle. Only thing you have to do is keep moving to what God told you. There is a miracle. Today is your day for a miracle. And so here, when he erected an altar, yeah, he positioned himself. Mm -hmm. and, and he said, son said to him, he said, father, I see we got all the stuff, but where's the lamb? Yeah. He said, but the Lord will provide, son. Yeah. And he kept on going. And then we positioned himself. The moment that he lifted up his hand, yeah. Sometimes we, we don't feel like worshiping him. We still don't feel like praising him. But the moment that he lifted up his hand. The moment he began to worship. Uh -huh. The moment he yeah. lifted up his that hand. That is a posture of worship. The moment, Lord, I don't feel like it. My situation is not going good for me. My bills is piling up on me. That my, my job is situation. But the moment that you lift up his hand, the Bible said that the angel came and stopped him and says, hold on. Because you did not withhold your seed. Yeah. He said, because you did not withhold your seed. He says, I, You were willing to give what you love the most. You're willing to give what you love the most. What you've been waiting for. What you've been waiting on. Because you sacrificed your last, the very thing that you had. Because you remember, he sent the other one away. Mm -hmm. But the very last, you was willing to give it up. He said, I'm going to multiply your seed. Yeah. And it's going to hold the gates of the enemy. <coughs> and the Bible says that he lifted up his eyes. Yeah. And when he lifted up his eyes, it, it wasn't a, a lamb that was caught in the bush. The interesting thing, there was a ram yeah. that was caught in the bush. And, and Bishop, you have to understand the significance of, of this ram. A ram is a seed bearer. So in other words, he didn't just give him a, 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 a just one miracle. He was able to give a miracle where it's going to, to be able to reproduce itself. So your blessing is just not going to stop right there. I, I got to take a pause for a moment, Bishop. And let you said something very interesting when you was talking about 30 years in ministry. And you know how I am with man, where every number represents something. Uh, 30 represents the maturity in ministry. You have to understand today, there are some things you need some things to raise up in to rise up in your life today, I want you to step out by faith because just like when he says that uh, the lad and I will be right back, there's some situations that you're looking for God to move and to rise up in your life. I want you today to step out by faith when you call in today and I'm going to meet you at the phone room today with your seat of $30. Yeah. And 30 represents the maturity in ministry. You need some things to grow up. You need some things to rise up for you in your life. I want you to step out by faith with your seed and I want you to attach a name to that seed what you're looking for the Lord to do for you. I don't know if you realize, but it was at 30 years that Jesus matured yes to do three years of work yes he, he he prepared himself 30 years to do three years of work yes god said you reaching your maturity there are 100 of you that will sow that seed of 30 dollars today it's a miracle seed it's a miracle seed you believe in god for a miracle i want you to i want you to get ready to come uh call, get to the phone Prophet McKinstry is going to be speaking over your life in about 11 minutes. We're going to the prayer room and we believe in God. But I want you to call. I want you to call. And you can put it on speakerphone. But as he's beginning, getting, as he's beginning to pray for you, whoever prays for you, I want you to begin to worship. Yes. I want you to begin to worship. Position yourself. Position yourself for the unexpected. Let me tell you something. This is Friday. This is Friday when this airs. You may be looking at another time. But God said, I'm going to do it in three days, in three days. That, that's what the prophet, that's what the prophet said to the man of God. He said, in three days, you'll go to the sanctuary and God's going to add 15 more years to your life. A miracle. What, what are you saying, Bishop? He had told him you're going to die. Hezekiah, you're going to die. Prepare yourself. But in three days, go to the sanctuary, worship. Yes. Go to the sanctuary and worship. And I'm going to add to your life. God's adding some stuff to your life. 855-730-WORD. 855-730-WORD. What if I told you on the other end of that phone of yours that somebody could pray for your miracle, for your breakthrough? I'm sorry. Call me, call me uh, 
an optimist. You know, I have so many people, so many elements I have to deal with. And, you know, there's some people that don't believe in this. They don't believe that God still works miracles. But I'm going to tell you something. I know he works miracles. It's only a God that can do with our lives what he does. We are miracles. We're sitting here right now. Nobody but God could take an ex-con. This is an ex-con right here. I, I don't mean to call you out like that. But <laughs> no. really, we call him prophet, but we could call him. All of us got a but God moment. I'm the son of a prostitute. If it had not been for the Lord on our side, God wants to do the same thing with your life. There's a miracle. The doctor has given you up. There's a miracle. You're worried about cancer in your body. There's a miracle. You're worried about high blood pressure. Yo, your eyes are red. You, you're feeling cuckoo. And those of you that are watching my Facebook Live, get us your prayer requests right now. Facebook Live, send your prayer requests. Some of you right now, you don't know how you're going to pay your bills. All you got is $30. Some of you, you don't know how you're going to make it through the rest of these 80-something days. God still works miracles. All you got to do is your, your miracle is in your obedience. Yes. That's what that whole story is about. The whole story was. And, and, the, and the interesting part, there's some people right now, Bishop, that are really going in right now even at home. And, and see, some people don't understand the story behind other people's praise because some people don't feel like it don't take all that. But some people don't understand. And see, you, you have to understand this also in the significance about a, a ram. Uh, uh, in, in order to get the, you know, blow your trumpet in Zion, in order to get that so far, to get that horn, they, they, it, it takes a ram horn. And, and in order for that, first of all, something has to die. Second of all, they take that horn and they clean out everything. I'm going somewhere with this. They clean out everything on the inside of it. Then after they do that, they put it through the fire. When they put that horn through the fire in order for them to twist it and turn it so it can make a certain sound because every horn does not make a, the, a, the same sound. It's the way it's twisted and turned through the fire. Bridge. Some of you right now have been through the fire. You've been twisted and you've been turned, but you don't understand that very praise, that very sound, that very worship that you have is because of the fire that you've been through. That's why you never take it for granted uh, and, and tell a person and don't take all that to praise him because you don't know, understand now, the story behind their praise. Have you ever ate a neck bone before? I, back in them days. Yeah, we, <laughs> in the middle of the neck bone, there's some little meat that you got to pull out. Yes. You just had a little meat in there that we got to pull out. Yes. Like, we need to go back to the twisted. Yes. So, the man of God said, some of you have been twisted and turned your home life, twisted and turned your job, to your career, twisted and turned your, 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 your schooling, twisted and turned. Some of you, you haven't been able to sleep at night because you're, you're twisted and turned. But God said, not until you're really twisted and turned does he get the sound out of you that he needs. Yeah, he needs. And you know what? My sound ain't like his. And her sound ain't like hers. And those of you that look at Facebook Live, those of you, I don't care where you live at, God said we all got a different sound because we all been twisted. And Shama. Bishop, because you have to understand, a sound perceives the move of God. Yeah. And whenever you Slow need down. God. We got about five minutes. <laughs> a sound. sound perceives the move of God. Yeah. And whenever you need God to do something for you, you got to know how to make the right sound. Uh, uh, you, I know you need a scripture for the Bible says that when the children of Israel, they, when they marched around the wall and the only thing that stood in between them and their promise was a wall. And all they had to do was make a sound. Yeah. Uh, see, a lot of people who make a lot of noise, but they don't know how to make the right sound. The Bible says when they made that, all they had to do was to shout. The ground shook and the walls fell. Some of you right now. And the people are the, went up. Uh, uh, right now, some of you are the right there at the brink of your promise. Some of you are right there at the brink of your breakthrough. The Bible says the blind man said when Jesus was passing him by, son of David, have mercy a on sound. me. He created the sound, the right sound that stopped Jesus right there on his track. Some of you are right there at the brink of your miracle, but you got to know how to make the right sound. The Bible said that Paul and Silas, they prayed and they praised. And, and because they created the right sound, the ground shook the doors open, 
then the chains fell. Yeah. Some of you got doors of opportunities open for you right now, but you're still bound. You got to know how to make the right sound. Command your miracle today with your mouth with the right sound. 855. In about four minutes, we're going to the prayer room. 855-730-WORD. 100 of you today that will sow a seed of $30. That $30, talk to him, prophet. It, it represents maturity in ministry. There's some things that is maturity, raising up, standing tall, even in your life. And I'm going to I'm gonna be praying, speaking into your life, what God is getting ready to do for you, even in your life today. It's not by accident, by chance that you even tuning in today. There's some things, but you're looking for a miracle and expecting the possible, and your miracle is on its way on the other side. It's getting ready to meet you right now, today. This, this, this You can't pay for a miracle, but you're attaching a seed. A seed breaks cycle. A seed brings harvest. A seed brings things to pass. It was a seed that I sold $1,000 to Rod Parsons Ministry at camp meeting some 30-something years ago, 20-something years ago, he needed a camera. I sold a seed, $1,000. I believe now I've been in, in full-time television ministry for 12 years because of that seed I sold. A seed is what got me back at the Word Network, $57 seed. I was sitting in one of Prophet Kern's meeting. He said, give $57. Put on the back of the envelope what you want God to do. I said, I want to go back to the Word Network. Had not talked to Mr. Dell in four years. Four years. By February, I was sitting. It's a seed. That will get your faith moving. That will get God moving. He recognized a seed. And you put a name on it. Put a name on it. When you call, the prophet is going to ask you, what do you need from God? What's the miracle you need today? $30 today. Go right now. You got about 30 seconds, sir, to tell him goodbye. Listen, I, I, I'm, 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 I am believing with you. And I'm going to be agreeing with you. And I'm, I'm excited about your future. We're excited about your future, 855-730-WORD. Those of you that will stand with me, I'm looking for 10 of you that will stand with me today with that $109 for the Healing Bible Package. I want to get it in your hand. We're on our way to the prayer room, and you're on your way to a miracle. Pick up the phone right now. Where can you go in the middle of the day while you're at work? You can sneak to the bathroom on your phone and somebody getting on your nerves and you can get prayed out of it and go back to your desk smiling and they wonder what happened to you in the bathroom. I called the Word Network. Somebody prayed me through. That's what happened to you. Call right now, 855. Where can you go and you're at home and your children have gotten on your last nerves and before you go pick her up from school, you got a woosah. You got to get yourself together. 855-730-WORD. Luther McKinstry. All over the place on social media. All on social media. Website. Luther McKinstry. Website. LutherMcKinstry.org. LutherMcKinstry.org. Preachers, you need a prophet to come to your house. Luther McKinstry. Let him come and speak in your house. Call him right now. We're out of here. Until next time, miracles are happening. 855-730-WORD. We'll see you in the prayer room.